Hi, and welcome back. With this lesson, we start working on a project called Weather. We discussed the basic functionality of this project in the previous lesson. So, without further ado, let's start with the HTML part. First, create a folder called Weather. Then, open this folder in Visual Studio Code. Second, we need to create the basic structure of the project. So we're going to create the index.html file and the CSS folder. Inside of this folder, we create a file called style.css. After that, we create a folder called JS. Inside of this folder, we need to have a file called script.js. In the attachment to this lesson, you will find this folder, which you see on the screen. Just download it. When you open it, you will see two other folders called fonts and images. These are the fonts that we need for the project. And here are the images of the project. So copy these folders and paste them into the project. Alright, the folders have been successfully added to the project. Now, in the index.html file, we're going to create the basic structure of the web page. With the Emmet plugin, which is installed by default in Visual Studio Code, we can do it easily. Just type in the exclamation mark and hit enter. And there. Let's set the text Weather as the title of the web page. Let's also connect the CSS styles by typing Link Rail Style Sheet. To connect the JS file, before the closing body tag, we type in script src equals to js slash script dot js. Alright, let's take a closer look at the web page. The web page is composed of several elements. The first element is this search box. So we create a div with the class weather. And then we create an input tag inside of this div. This input is for search. That's why we specify that its type is search. Let's also add a class called weather search. As you can see, the text your city has to be set by default. That's why we add the attribute called placeholder with the value your city. Okay, we move forward. The second element of the web page is this div with the weather information for the current day. And the third element is the div with the 5 day weather forecast. That's why we're going to create two divs below the input. The first div is with the class name weather today. And the second div is with the class called weather forecast. Please notice that this block is composed of three elements. The first element stores these weather details. The second element has the weather image. And the third element stores the information on the temperature. That's why we're going to create three elements inside of the div with a class called weather today. The element is the div with the class name weather details. Then we create an IMG tag with a class called weather image. After that, we create a div with a class name Weather Temperature. As you can see, in this block, there is a heading with the name of the city. So here we add an h2 tag with the class called Weather City. Let's also add the text City. Then comes the weekday. That's why we add a p tag with the class called weather day. As the text, let's add the word day. Then comes the block with the information on humidity, wind and pressure. So we create a div with the class called weather current. Inside of this div, we're going to create three p tags with the class name Weather Indicator.
Also, we add another class called Weather Indicator Humidity for the first P tag. For the second P tag, we add the class name Weather Indicator Wind. And the third P tag is going to have the class name Weather Indicator Pressure. This number is going to be changing, but the percentage sign is not changing. That's why we wrap the value of the humidity with the span tag with the class called value. For now, let's set 50 for the humidity. And then here we add the percentage sign. Let's apply the same approach for the wind. It's the wind direction and speed. So for the value, let's set west as the wind direction and 5 meters per second. Of course, we need to add meters per seconds outside of the span tag. Then the pressure. Again, we apply the same approach and for the value of the pressure, let's set 1050. Outside of the span tag, we add HPA. The images will be changing with the help of JavaScript. For now, let's set any image. For example, this one called clearsky.png. So we add images slash clearsky.png. Let's set clearsky for the alt text. Now we need to add the value for the temperature. As you can see, first comes the number and then come two signs. So we're going to wrap the value with the span tag. For example, plus 25. Then to add the degree sign, we add this special symbol. And then we add the capital letter C. Finally, we have this block with the 5 day forecast. For each day, we're going to use the article tag. So we create the article tag with a class called Weather Forecast Item. As you can see, each article must have the image, the weekday, and the temperature. That's why we add the IMG tag with a class called Weather Forecast Icon. For now, let's set this image. Later on, when we connect the API, the images will be changing. Then set the text Clear Sky for the alt text. For the weekday, we're going to create the H3 tag with a class called Weather Forecast Day. Let's add the text Day. For the temperature, we create the P tag with a class called Weather Forecast Temperature. Let's copy this pen tag and paste it here. Since we must have 5 articles, let's copy this article and paste it 4 times below. Alright, we are done with the HTML part. In the next two lessons, we will add some CSS styles. See you then!